Good morning, good morning. I just wanted to clear up uh, again some of the misinformation that was coming out from yesterday. And I think it's important because if we just let all this misinformation go as is, uh, it's going to cause a lot of undue fear in a lot of people. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. That's what I was kind of trying to avoid with yesterday's video. <sighs> yeah, here we are again. So, what I want to talk about is what it was that blew up yesterday. Sp specifically yesterday in Lebanon. So, of course, Tuesday, they had the big pager incident to where all the pagers had blown up. Subsequently, the following day, um, they had had issues with, uh, with walkie-talkies. Now, uh, all of a sudden, there was a bunch of people that started reporting that there were cell phones, there were laptops, there were scooters, there were solar generators. All these devices were exploding. That is not correct. That is not correct. I did also see some uh, out there kind of news, so to speak. They weren't any reputable news sources. Um, but I did see some out there making the claims of scooters and laptops and cell phones and all of that. But none of the uh, more reputable, if you will. I know they're not really that reputable, but you know what I'm saying. Um, none of the more mainstream had reported on that. Oh, Watchmen, that's because they want to keep it a secret. Stop. Stop just running with shit because it gets you a lot of views. I mean, jeez. <laughs> Unbelievable. Even some of the images that came out of Lebanon doesn't make a lot of sense, and I am going to... I'm going to show you that. Um, I'm going to explain something to you. But even here with this article from, from AP, and this article came out this morning, I went through it just to double check again. And, of course, it talks about the pagers in the first one. And the only thing it mentions about the second attack is walkie-talkies. Now, you have probably seen this image. It's been going around. And uh, I want to point out some things with this image because uh, a lot of people probably wouldn't know. First of all, a lot of cut wires. I don't know if anybody else noticed that. But these wires are cut. <laughs> a lot of cut wires. Um, but what you're looking at is not just uh, pieces of a walkie-talkie. Okay? This here would be the top part of an ICOM walkie-talkie, whereas this part here would be the very bottom, the very base of the walkie-talkie. Now, what this metal piece is over here, I have no earthly clue. It has, it, it's not in the walkie-talkie. However, there's other components here that aren't the walkie-talkie either. This here is actually a BNC connector. Um, that's going to be most likely connect. I don't know. I guess it could have been a BNC on top of the ICOM. Uh, probably a fairly good chance that it was a BNC on top of the I ICOM. So that's a BNC connector there. So that's for the antenna. Okay. But we've got some components here that are not part of the radio. Again, I don't know where this uh, squarish metal piece came from, but that is not part of the radio. And the other components that you see here, mainly this being the back of it, this being the circuit board of it, um, this is a charger, okay? This is just like a, a wall charger. In fact, I have identical chargers to this for several things. My GoPower Plus has an identical charger to this. I've got some monitors that have identical power packs to this. Um, so it's kind of a common thing. And this is, the, this is the board that goes inside of this housing. So again, this is a charger. This is a housing. And I'm not going to say that this charger isn't for this radio. Because it could very well be a charger for this radio. However, I am not entirely sure that what you're looking at is a result of what happened on Wednesday, yesterday. Not sure about that. I've not heard anything about chargers. So why they've got 
you know, a picture of the Charger involved there? I have no idea. But to my knowledge, the Chargers have nothing to do with it. So, anyway, I wanted to clear that up. Again, this image isn't, you know, I know what these components are because I take this stuff apart all the time. If I have something like this go bad, if I have a, uh, a little a power adapter go bad, I pull it apart and see if I can fix it. So I know damn well what they look like on the inside, and this belongs inside of here. <laughs> and there's another piece, too, that's not in, in view uh, for the other side. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I am not entirely sure. I am not... Uh, I'm not convinced that this is actually a walkie-talkie that was involved in uh, in the explosions. So that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying the explosions didn't happen. I'm just saying I think somebody's pulling our leg on a picture. Um, so anyway, uh, like I said, this isn't an issue to where it's just all kinds of stuff. Scooters and cell phones and laptops and everybody needs to be worried. Oh my. No. I don't. I don't understand why people feel like it's important to lie. Um, I guess I guess views, I guess attention is more important than anything to some people. My concern is those that are going to be in fear about every little thing that they own because of what happened here. And that is a, is a psychological effect uh, that we want to do everything we can to avoid. You do not have to worry about your cell phone. Again, unless you're buying them in bulk as a clandestine operation, as I said yesterday, your titties are safe. Don't be a dumbass. I mean, it, it comes down to that. Don't be a dumbass, right? Don't, don't get yourself involved in clandestine operations. And then um, I, I would advise, I would advise you <laughs> not to take any of the free stuff, right? Be like, hey, I brought my own pager, I I brought my own walkie-talkie, just give me the freaks, yo, <laughs> frequencies. <laughs> um, <laughs> and bring your own radio, man. I'm I'm telling you, I'm bringing my own radio, even if it is a cheap ass bow fung. It, it at least it won't blow up on me um, but anyway that's all that's reported at this point we we've, we've got the the pagers that happened on Tuesday the walkie-talkies that happened on Wednesday that is it nada not another thing on the list not another single thing on the list as far as being targeted with uh, you know explosives so Again, I don't know where all these people are getting their lies from, but um, sharing them around is not any better. Anyway, I thought I would clear that up. Again, not entirely sure that I'm convinced that, uh, that this particular image is of a unit that was involved in the incident. Don't know why they would throw a charger, which certainly wasn't involved in the incident, uh, in the picture with it. Uh, who knows? So... Who knows? Don't worry. Your titties are safe. Your phone's not going to blow up. Well, most likely. And, uh, <laughs> did you buy an iPhone? Because, anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you all have a good day. Shalom.